How's it going, everybody? Level M Diecast. Welcome back. Thank you very much for returning to the channel. If you're new, don't forget to subscribe if you like what you see. If you don't like it, I'm okay with that too. Just let me know what's up. Uh, we are going to unbox this newest American scene car culture. Uh, no, this is not part of this scene, but this is the first time we saw this CAR in premium deco. This was in team transport in yellow. Looks really, really good. Does have those uh, 10, 10 spoke wire wheels. Looks pretty good. Um, this model debuted in the basic range, which was okay. Uh, but once we saw this in premium deco, it looks really, really good. I'm going to crack open our current version. This is American scene after all. So there you go. In all his red, white, and blue glory. Does have chrome wheels. Looks actually really, really good. Really, really digging this one. Looking, looking pretty good. Uh, now, uh, for you guys, in case you're unaware, not really sure if you can be, but if you are, uh, there is a chase version of this in the American scene. It'll be this exact same model. Um, however, it'll be in a stealth black, like a matte black color. The whole thing will be black, black wheels, everything. So a uh, little, little, eh, I don't know. Um, but I can tell you right now that those seem to be relatively rare. Uh, very, very hard to come across for sure. Uh, but this guy looks pretty good. He is the number one of five. Uh, moving on to number two of five. This is the 69 Chevelle SS 396. This is not a new casting. This is an existing casting. Been around for a little while. Uh, roughly probably 2007-2008. Um, this is not the same casting that came out last year in the Fast and Furious series. That one has a uh, side mirror molded onto it. So this one's a little bit different than that. Okay, looks pretty good though in orange with dual black stripes. Nice chrome wheels on there. Looks really, really good. This casting is a really good casting. Not a, not a casting that we collect here at Level M, but it is still a very, very good version. It's a, still a good premium. Um, but like I said, not a brand new casting. Not a brand new casting. But looks pretty good. Um, moving on to number three uh, is going to be the Bronco. This is the first version we saw of that Bronco. The Bronco R. Uh, this came out in Hyper Haulers last year as a brand new uh, model. Brand new casting. The guy looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. Um, this next one we're going to take a look at. Number three of five. This guy is a completely different flavor, bringing a whole different style to American scene. That guy looks really good in this uh, like aqua color. Uh, white wheels on it look fantastic. Really like this model a lot. Really like this casting a lot. I think they did a fantastic job um, with the uh, roll cage out the back. You know, it's it's the details are there. Um, the previous version with the blue roll cage was was obviously appropriate to the one to one scale version, but this guy is in white, so you can't quite see all the details you would normally see. But it looks pretty good. Still looks pretty good. I really like it a lot. It's a it's a pretty good version. It's a pretty good version. Um, I do like the R in the grill as well. Looks pretty good. Pretty good. Let that roll around just one more time. For all you off-road nutties. It's really nice. It's really nice detail in the grill. Really nice. Good prints too. Good prints too. Uh, number four in the mix. We're just going to roll through. Uh, it is the 2020 Dodge Charger Hellcat. This is the first time we saw it. This came out last year. In the Fast and Furious uh, Farewell Mix. I guess you can call it. Uh, the last mix of uh, Fast and Furious that came out. This guy looks amazing it's one of the best castings that they've done uh, it's just super spot on such a good version in this wide body and i'm really happy to see that it comes out right away in the first mix of 2020 so i'm, I'm sorry 2022 get my years right so this is the very first um non-licensed version i guess you could call this this is the first uh free reign version um, I like to refer to it as in this lime green with black hood, black top and black trunk. They do have a 
uh, carbon fiber print to them. Looks pretty good. Um, I think the casting details pop out a little bit better when it's not black. You can kind of see uh, the details that are there and, and, you know, just see how good of a casting it really is. Looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. Um, obviously, the hood sprayed um, after the uh, green is, is, is on there. So you do see some green in there. It's kind of weird. And then, of course, uh, they're unable to get the print on the very back of the spoiler. So... It's a little, little bit of a bummed out. A little bit bummed out. So that was number four. Uh, rolling out into the mix, number five. This is the Tesla Roadster. The brand spanking new Tesla Roadster. Uh, not even out to buy the real one yet. But we got it right here from Hot Wheels. Uh, this is a new casting. Looks pretty good. Looks pretty good in silver and black. Um, I especially like the wheels. Those those arrow blade wheels look pretty good. A lot of good details on this guy. It seems pretty basic in the package, but outside the package now, taking a look at it, uh, definitely makes up for it. Pretty good. It does have some good tamper prints on the front. Looks pretty good on the sides as well. You know, I I don't particularly like the black and silver two tone on this guy, but it still looks pretty good. And I like the tamper print on the back with the Tesla. Looks fantastic as always. So um, that is your American scene from car culture. Obviously everything from America because that is what we do here in America. Um, it's a pretty good mix. It's a pretty good mix. Represents uh, pretty much all the big guys plus the new guy in the Tesla stable. A lot of muscle. A lot of uh, off-roading, racing, and then, of course, you got electric and, of course, your gas guzzler. So, there you go. That is American Scene Car Culture. Uh, let me know what you guys think about that. Let me know what you guys think about that mix. And let me know if you got a chase piece because, man, I've been trying to find that C8 and it's just, it's just nowhere. It's just nowhere. So, anyways, we're going to roll out. Appreciate you guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for joining, tuning in. We'll catch you next time. Level M saying... Peace.